dear students in my previous discussion one problem was in the incomplete form that i shall continue now the final solution of uh, the matrix equation which was given in this form and uh, the equations a system of linear equations were x plus y plus z is equal to 1 and x plus 2y plus 4z is equal to lambda and the last equation that is x plus 4y plus 10z is equal to lambda square. <coughs> now, after, after applying the row operations, here these two numbers we were supposed to make them as 0 with the help of this pivotal element that is minus r1 plus r2 affecting on r2 that becomes 0 and the second column becomes 1 and third column becomes 3 and the second uh, sorry uh, in the third column that is uh, second element and here in the last column that is on the right side constant uh, column that becomes minus 1 plus lambda and another row operation minus 1 plus r3 gives us this is 0 and minus 1 plus 4 that gives us 3 and minus 1 plus 10 gives us 9 minus 1 and plus lambda square that is minus 1 plus lambda square. So, chance of utilizing the pivotal element in the first row is over and chance of utilizing the uh, next uh, pivotal element means from the second row that is second element will act as a pivotal element and it has it is to be utilized on this number to make it as 0 that becomes minus 3 r2 because in the previous uh, first step we had taken r1 was multiplied by minus sign that means previous row we disturbed and uh, next row we kept it as constant therefore this is 3 and minus 3 r2 that is minus 3 becomes uh, minus 9 and that becomes simplification as 0 then here minus 3 that becomes plus 3 and minus 3 lambda and minus 1 okay uh, this becomes minus 3 with this as minus 3 minus 3 lambda and this becomes plus of that means minus 1 plus lambda square simplification between minus 1 and 3 becomes 2 minus 3 lambda as it is and plus lambda square. So, chance of using this element second row second element is over. Now, finally, we are left with this is the structure that means this is the uh, situation of the elementary row operation at the end from top to bottom when we consider. Now, uh, e this has a solution this has a solution in the question it is the statement this has a solution on what condition this has a solution on what value you are going to choose in this place. In this place this solution uh, this equations will possess a solution as infinite number of uh, uh, solutions where this is supposed to be on equal to 0. This is supposed to be equal to 0 means infinitely many solutions. Then now uh, in the argument uh, to answer the question if the given system of equations if the given system of equations possess solution possess solution if and only if <coughs> if and only if 2 minus 3 lambda plus lambda square is equal to 0 this implies rank of a is equal to 2 why it is 2 rank of a because third row is completely 0 only the non-zero rows means only two uh, rows are left that is equal to 2 and rank of augmented matrix rank of augmented matrix is equal to what values that is equal to rank of augmented matrix is equal to 2 when when 2 minus 3 lambda plus lambda square is equal to 0 so this implies consistent consistent but but r is less than r is less than n 
एट टू माइनस थ्री लैमडा प्लस लैमडा स्क्वायर इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मीन्स इफ दिस इज जीरो दिस थ्री और जीरो देन यू विल गेट जेड इन टू जीरो इज इक्वल टू जीरो देर फॉर जेड बिकम जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय जीरो बट हियर वेन इट इज इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स इट इज नॉट ओनली सिंगल वैल्यू इट विल प्रोसेस टू वैल्यूज बिकॉज ऑफ सेकेंड डिग्री नाउ वॉट आर दोज वैल्यूज वी आर टू आइडेंटिफाई ओके सो फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन वी विल सॉल्व फॉर लैमडा सॉल्विंग फॉर लैमडा बिकॉज इट इज अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इट इज द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन सिंस इट इज द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन वी विल सॉल्व फॉर वैल्यूज ऑफ लैमडा वी मस्ट हैव टू वैल्यूज ऑफ लैमडा देर फोर लैमडा स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री लैमडा प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस कैन बी टेकन एस लैमडा माइनस वन इंटू लैमडा माइनस टू इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज माइनस इंटू माइनस प्लस इट इज माइनस वन माइनस टू टूगेदर इट इज कॉल्ड एस माइनस थ्री देर फोर दिस इज लैमडा माइनस वन इंटू लैमडा माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो वॉट वी आर टू कैलकुलेट नाउ दिस बिकम्स लैमडा इज इक्वल टू वन एंड लैमडा इज इक्वल टू टू सो लैमडा इज इक्वल टू वन एंड लैमडा इज इक्वल टू टू आर द टू डिफरेंट वैल्यूज आर द रियल नंबर्स नॉट द कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स आर द रियल नंबर्स सो दट सो दट हियर वेन इट इज इक्वल टू जीरो जेड इक्वल टू जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय जीरो जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय जीरो वेन लैमडा इज इक्वल टू वन That means lambda is equal to one means here it is zero, but it is k. But it is k. Therefore, for lambda is equal to one, uh, one set of infinite number of uh, values, and lambda is equal to two, uh, there is another set of infinite number of solutions. So z equal to k at lambda is equal to one, and z equal to k at lambda is equal to two. Therefore. you can make a back substitution where x values depends on uh, z y values depends on z because you are assigning lambda is equal to 1 once and you'll go for those values of calculation for k is less than 0 greater than 0 and equal to 0 as infinite number of solutions similarly lambda is equal to 2 another case there also you will uh, take the parallel uh, set of solutions like uh, uh, k is less than 0 k is greater than 0 and k equal to 0 so this is one thing now uh, you can uh, uh, discuss uh, for those solutions whatever the value of k you are going to assign now in the same fashion that is uh, one more uh, last problem i am going to take in this one with uh, four uh, unknowns that problem with four unknowns and uh, how the uh, elementary row operation method can be applied for those four values i shall just give the hint and then you can proceed for finding the solutions that is also in the same consistency uh, comparison that is uh, ranks of coefficient matrix and uh, rank of uh, augmented matrix solve the system of linear equations there are four equations here uh, 2x1 plus x2 plus 2x3 plus x4 is equal to 6 and 6x1 minus 6x2 plus 6x3 Plus twelve x four is equal to thirty six, and four x one plus three x two plus three x three minus three x four is equal to minus one, and two x one plus two x two minus x three plus x four is equal to ten. Here, this is the situation uh, not restricted to three variables. 
there are four variables x1, x2, x3, x4 then you will have to do three steps of row operations but in these problems so far you did only two steps of operations row operation but here you will be getting totally three steps how many uh, unknowns are there one number less one number less means four unknowns three steps three unknowns two steps like that okay let me give the hint for this and the solution also let me give for that uh, here <coughs> what you are going to select as first of all in the solution matrix equation let a x equal to b let a x equal to b be the matrix equation then in the matrix form you are going to consider all the four unknowns with the four cross four coefficient matrix that is two six four and then two then my uh, this is plus one plus one minus six and uh, three two this is second column and two six three two six three and then minus one third column and the fourth column 112 minus 3 and plus 1 will be operated on x1, x2, x3 and x4. This is equal to this is equal to 636 minus 1 and then 10. This is your matrix uh, uh, notation this is 4 cross 4 coefficient matrix A and this is capital X and this is capital B this is the matrix form where 4 unknowns are there x1 x2 x3 x4 so first pivotal element is 2 this you can call it as PE and these 3 numbers will be converted to 0 so what are the uh, row operations you are going to consider that the final form I will write after taking the row operations and then final form after three steps you can check that and the answer which you have to verify by the back substitution those values must satisfy the equations okay uh, I will write the last step uh, so this is equivalent to after row operations I will get like this this is 2 1 2 1 and x1 x2 x3 and x4 this is equal to should be 6 and here it changes that is 0 minus 9 0 9 and 0 this is 0 minus 1 minus 4 and this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 13 and x4 this is 18 and minus 11 and 39 so if this is the row operation at the end after three steps of row operations for example for the first operation you are going to make this 6 as 0 4 as 0 2 as 0 these are the three values okay that means minus 3 one choice i can give minus 3 r1 plus r2 affecting on r2 next 4 is there this is minus 2 r1 plus r3 and affecting on this is r3 okay r1 plus r2 r1 plus r3 and last one that is minus r1 because 2 is there and minus 2 you, you will expect and r4 affecting on r4 so this is the first step which you have to take so that these three values will be uh, getting as 0 so next part whatever the simplification you are getting then second step of operation that means top to bottom when you are coming top to bottom when you are coming for the elementary row operations <coughs> you have three choices r1 on r2 r3 r4 r2 on r3 and r4 and r3 on r4 so these are the elements we got these are the elements we got so after getting these elements as 0 0 0 0 totally uh, 6 zeros are there here 
six zeros and uh, this has to be zero okay with this element so that these three zero three plus two five and this has to be zero because you have the choices like that and remaining are simplifications we don't know uh, what is uh, uh, how the simplification even you can change the coefficient also here instead of taking like this you can also shift over shift it to the uh, second position uh, uh, disturbing the rows and first position uh, without disturbing the rows so according to the elementary operation uh, conditions multiply by non zero number to one of the two rows and simply add it to the remaining this is what i have written according to that you are getting now so by the back substitution now the rank what is the rank actually that is r of a is equal to number of non zero rows 13 is not zero therefore it is 4 and row of a b irrespective of this this is equal to 4 only because this counts then what is your conclusion row of a is equal to row of a b right this is equal to 4 this implies consistent this implies consistent because ranks are same when it is consistent there exists there exists a unique solution what is unique solution by the back substitution by the back substitution you have to form the equations by the back substitution implies four different equations you are going to write first equation 2x plus y oh no this is x1 x1 plus x2 plus 2 x3 plus x4 is equal to 6 next uh, that is minus 9 x1 plus 0 into sorry this is x2 x3 and plus 9 x4 is equal to 18 then minus 1 uh, x3 right minus 1 x3 minus x4 is equal to minus 11 13 x4 is equal to 39 this is 13 into x4 is equal to 39 so one value immediately you can trace out that is x4 is equal to x4 is equal to 13 39 the uh, 39 divided by 13 is 3 x4 is equal to 3 so substitute that in the previous equation you will get the solutions that is x4 is equal to 3 and x3 is equal to minus 1 uh, x2 is equal to 1 and x1 is equal to 2 these are the three solutions right whether these solutions are correct or not you have to verify that means make these uh, values to be substituted in any one of these equations that means in the given problem what is the given problem in this for example any one equation you can check for example if you take first equation what is x1 x1 is 1 that is 6 uh, sorry 2 into 1 right this is the verification I am doing and x2 x2 is equal to plus 1 and x3 x3 is uh, that is 1 okay x1 is uh, 2 x1 is 2 and x2 is 1 okay and x3 is 1 x3 means 2 into 1 right and x4 what is x4 3 uh, that is equal to 6 okay x x4 is equal to 3 and x3 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 and x1 is equal to 2 2x1 that is 2 into 2 x1 is equal to this much and uh, x2 that is 1 and x3 that is 1 okay and uh, this is 3 so 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 2 6 plus 4 10 no that is x3 is minus 1 sorry x3 is minus 1 here x3 is minus 1 means this is minus 2 minus 2 
then 4 plus 1 minus 2 and plus 3 right uh, this becomes minus 2 plus 3 this is equal to 6 4 plus 1 and plus 1 this is equal to 6 so 6 is equal to 6 this is the solution after getting the values of uh, unknowns you can verify in every problem whether those values will satisfy the equation or not that you can check even whatever the problem you take whatever the set of equations you take you can immediately check all those values for your verification of those numbers okay so like this i shall write few examples on this before i move on to the next discussion some uh, examples on your own you can study uh, one such uh, two or three such examples are like this solve the following by verifying the consistency by verifying the consistency that is example number 1 x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to minus 1 x plus 2y plus 2z is equal to 6 3x plus y plus z is equal to minus 1 second one x plus 2y plus 2z equal to 5 2x plus y plus 3z is equal to 6 and 3x minus y plus 2z equal to 4 and x plus y plus z equal to minus 1 and 4 unknowns one more I will write that is x plus 3y plus 2z plus t is equal to 1 2x plus 6y plus 3z plus 2t is equal to minus 1 3x plus y plus z plus 4t is equal to 3 and 4x plus 2y plus 3z plus 2t is equal to 4 so these three problems you can practice respectively on four three different cases now i shall explain these three cases before i uh, go to next discussion because uh, equally important uh, these three cases which i have written uh, because they are in a different uh, type of uh, calculations the second especially second problem so first problem is uh, as usual first problem there are three unknowns three means three is, uh, n is equal to three here n is equal to three but the number of equations are three right three equations and three unknowns this you can solve but here there are four equations with three unknowns that means here uh, n is equal to three but number of equations is equal to 3 here equations are 4 equations is equal to 4 right but here uh, n is equal to 4 there are 4 uh, unknowns x y z and t and equations are 4 equations is equal to 4 here two row operations you have to do that here three row operations you have to do that because first on second third fourth there are four equations and uh, second on third and fourth and third on that is fourth equation this is a special case but you can do it 
all the three will become zero. In the last row, all the three will become zero. Your solution depends on the right side, what number you are going to assign. Uh, sorry, uh, what number you are going to get after the simplification. That is in place of minus one. Therefore, this is equation number four. So, you must be very careful uh, in this problem. And this problem is as usual. That means equal number of equations and uh, equal number of unknowns. These two are same. These two are same as usual you can write. But this one you will be getting. This one you will be getting three unknowns, four equations. And that is still advantage when you compare with the previously calculated values. So, with this I would like to conclude uh, that topic. Uh, that is uh, consistency and inconsistency of the uh, system of uh, linear equations. Okay. So, after doing this, the continuation of this discussion is uh, the next part of uh, uh, studying is LU decomposition that is called LU factorization. Otherwise, we call it as Crowd's uh, triangularization matrix. How this Crowd's uh, triangularization matrix because this plays a major role uh, in especially in the case of uh, engineering applications uh, where we are going to consider uh, the equations in the form of upper triangular and as well as lower triangular matrices. Okay. So, what is the meaning of this uh, LU decomposition? L, L means lower triangular, U means upper triangular. That is called L into U is a product of lower and upper triangular matrices. So, let me uh, give the brief uh, uh, introduction to this uh, topic that is LU decomposition method and how the process will be continued in this and how we are going to solve the problems. This is in the first major topic that we are going to conclude. Okay. So, now the next method, but after understanding this only LU decomposition you can study, but first you have to understand this consistency, then you can go for LU decomposition because here multiplication between two matrices and also the uh, construction of the equations and then uh, back substitution by making back substitution you will calculate the values of x, y, z that means values of unknowns. So, similarly here the target is also same that means we are going to solve the equations by calculating uh, value of x, value of y, value of z and finally we will verify by uh, introducing those values in the given equations. So, how those given equations will uh, be able to give the solution which uh, satisfy the given set of equations. Okay. So, the next uh, heading according to the syllabus is LU decomposition method. LU decomposition method. LU decomposition method, otherwise it is called uh, Crowd's Crowd's triangularization method. Crowd's triangularization method, or this is also called as LU factorization method. Any word you can call because in different textbooks, different authors dif are, are they are using different terminologies that makes no difference all the three are same. Uh, Crowd's triangularization method, LU factorization method uh, or LU decomposition method. In all these three cases, L stands for lower triangular and U stands for upper triangular. So, LU means it is a product of lower and upper, but it is not the same type of lower uh, triangular, but we take it as unit row lower triangular matrix and the upper triangular matrix. So, what is the procedure uh, we adopt here to solve the system of equations using this factorization method that is called LU decomposition method. Okay. First of all, I will write uh, the basic equations of the matrix. For example, 3 cross 3 if I take, then uh, I shall define the procedure for this uh, title 
that is LU decomposition method. Uh, let us consider, let us consider uh, for example, let us consider for example, uh, three linear equations, three linear equations as that is a11 x plus a12 y plus a13 z uh, that is equal to b1 and a21 x plus a22 y plus a23 z equal to b2 and a31 x plus a32 y plus a33 z is equal to that is b3. This is set of equations as 1 where this a1, a11 and a12 all a's are coefficients of unknowns that is x, y, z. So, now we will apply uh, th uh, 3 or 4 steps in order to find out the values of the unknowns as LU decomposition procedure. What is that LU decomposition procedure means here we claim that any uh, um, uh, uh, minor uh, matrix you take then in that minor matrix we will have to form the triangularization procedure. Okay. So, what is that triangularization procedure? Now, LU decomposition uh, let us uh, take the meaning of this word itself define otherwise first a matrix equation you can take define that is a x equal to b b the matrix equation b the matrix equation how the matrix equation goes that is a 1 1 a 1 2 a13, a21, a22, a23, a31, a32, a33, and then x, y, z, and b1, b2, and then it is b3. This is the matrix form. Now, define the product as it is that is called LU define the product L into U as L that is a uh, lower triangular lower triangular matrix with unit lower triangular with unit lower triangular. I shall explain that what is the meaning of this unit lower triangular in the uh, uh, notation wise lower triangular right and u as upper triangular upper triangular matrix upper triangular matrix then we follow we follow the following we follow the following working steps what are the working steps that I will write uh, in the form of notations in the form of notations the first notation is that step 1 step 1 that is uh, L into U is equal to A L into U is equal to A this L here where L is unit lower triangular, unit lower triangular matrix. Okay. 
So, L with uh, symbols according to the suffixes, whatever these symbols are there, I will use the same thing. And U means according to this notation, whatever the suffixes are there, I will use accordingly. I will show the details. This is the first step. Next, L into step 2. Step 2, L into V is equal to A. Uh, sorry, L into V is equal to B. So, L into V is equal to B means where, where V is a vector, V is a vector with, with V1, V2 and V3. These are the uh, elements in the vector. I will take according to the symbols as V1, V2, V3 only. Step 3. Step 3. Step 3. In the step 3, Ux. In the step 3, Ux is equal to V. This is the last step. This is the first step. I can call this the second step, this the third step and this the fourth step. Ux equal to v. So, this ux means x stands for this value. This is x, this is b and this is a. Here, l into u is equal to a means this is the coefficient matrix you have to compare. l into v is equal to b means this column you have to take and u into x means x takes these values and u takes the unit lower uh, sorry uh, upper triangular matrix that is u and multiply to x and then which is equated to that is uh, values of v1 v2 v3 thereby step last step you have to write step 4 find find x y z from step 3 step 3 and you can conclude that step 5 verification. Remember uh, this will be useful in uh, many of the situations as we have gone through the applications uh, problems especially in the case of uh, uh, matrices where triangularization concept is required then crowds triangularization method we are going to use uh, for many of the cases to find out the values of unknowns. Okay. So, now I shall write according to this, now I shall write, uh, then I shall multiply, then I shall take uh, the calculations by equating to the corresponding uh, uh, numbers according to this A, after taking the product according to the symbols, then I will take L into V, then I will take U into X, then I will take the calculations of x, y, z, then finally I will conclude what are the values of the verification. But some hints I will give symbolically, some hints I will give later the problem with uh, some real numbers I shall choose. Okay. So, those real numbers which I am going to choose in the next situation uh, when the problem is given. So, now I shall start with uh, the notations what is L into u product. So, first of all let me make it very clear that product L into U means lower triangular and upper triangular with the values of lower triangular means unit lower triangular. What is that unit lower triangular? The elements on the principal diagonal will be 1, 1, 1 that is all and above are 0 but below are with the corresponding notations that is called L into U. Now, let L into U is equal to A. Here with uh, L as unit lower triangular. Unit lower triangular form of the matrix. Of the matrix. You have to understand here itself uh, in depth so that you can go to the next step comfortably. Otherwise, no. Now, what is that unit lower triangular matrix? 
uh, when I consider that 3 cross 3, uh, for example, 3 cross 3, 3 cross 3 matrix. Already I have written symbolically, but I shall use the same thing. Now, what is that? 1, 0, 0. Here, in terms of, in, in terms of L, you must uh, choose. That is 1, 1. Okay. Sorry. This is 0. This is 1. But here, L, 2, 1. Because second row, first element. And L, 3, 1. Third row, first element. And this is L, 3, 2. This is called L value. This is capital L means unit lower triangular matrix. Unit lower triangular matrix takes the meaning. The principal diagonal should contain all the numbers as 1, 1, 1. And below that, there are the notations. And above are 0. Above or 0 means this is the part. This is the part. This is called unit lower triangular. Now, you know, uh, upper triangular matrix. So, upper triangular matrix, you will write this is multiplication. You can take upper triangular with the usual notations. U11, U12, U13. This is 0. Upper triangular means elements below the principal uh, diagonal. This is U22 and U23 and this is u 3 3 this is supposed to be u and here the elements are 0 this is the upper triangular matrix this is upper triangular matrix this is lower but unit lower triangular matrix this is the suggestion in this method it is given you can refer all the uh, standard textbooks two options you will find one option this is one type you are, you are going to take. Suppose you do not make these elements as 1, 1, right? You can also take in this order. This you can make it as 1, 1, 1. Don't make it here as 1, 1, 1. So, in both the triangular matrices, you don't make both the diagonal elements as unity. Okay. This is equal to A. What is A here for 3 cross 3? A 1, 1, A 1, 2, A 1, 3. And uh, A to 1, A to 2, A to 3, and A 3 1, A 3 2, and A 3 3. So, this is the first step. If you make this step is correct, then your re remaining steps are good. Otherwise, everything will go wrong. This step should be so perfect. Now, what is the multiplication? Multiplication uh, uh, is admissible or not? Multiplication between the two matrices is admissible only when only when number of columns are equal to the number of rows. Number of columns from the first row is equal to the number of columns in the second row. Uh, sorry, number of rows in the second uh, uh, matrix. So, number of columns means C1, C2, C3. Number of rows means R1, R2 and R3. So, number of columns are 3 and number of rows are 3. Therefore, uh, uh, the product of L into U is allowed. So, this condition, with this condition we multiply, then we will proceed to take the product of the equations. Then, what are those equations? We will consider one by one. Now, what is the condition of multiplication? Row is transferred to the column. First row into first column, first row into second column, first row into third column, second row into first column, second row into second column, second row into third column, third row into first column, third row into second column, third row into third column. This should be the uh, basic matrix multiplication. Between two matrices, we have to do like that. Okay. Now, I shall start with the first one. That is 1 into U11, 1 into U11 and 0 into 0 and 0 into 0. You have to go like this, first row into column, okay, 1 into u11, u11, 0 into 0, 0 into 0. Next, first row into second column, 1 into u12, so that is same, remaining 2 are 0, that is if you want you can write plus 0, plus 0 like that, here also plus 0, plus 0 you can write. Now, uh, first row into third column, that is uh, u12, 
one one three plus zero plus zero right like this you can write this is the first row into first column uh, first row into second column first row into third column now second row into first column l21 l21 into u11 right and 1 into 0 plus 0 both are 0 next uh, l21 with this that is l21 and u12 plus of u22 plus 0 u22 plus 0 because 0 into 0 now second row into third column that is l21 uh, into u13 plus u23 and plus 0 this becomes 0 next third row into first column that is l31 l31 and plus of this is into 0 this is into 0 plus 0 next this third row into second column l31 u12 l32 that is with plus sign l32 and u22 plus 0 next you have to write uh, third row into third column okay so what you are going to write now here l31 uh, into u13 plus of l32 into u23 and 1 into plus of 1 into u33 this is multiplied sorry sorry this is equal to matrix a this is equal to same now what is to be done here every uh, 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 element in the left side matrix should be equated to every corresponding element in the rhs lhs to rhs now this you can write it as comparing comparing the respective elements comparing the respective elements that is here u11 anyway this simplification gives u11 only that is equal to a11 this is the first calculation next u12 here uh, u12 plus 00, 0 that becomes u12 only u12 is equal to second element because second element second element with second element here that is a12 this is the second calculation you will understand when i write the problem with the actual numbers the corresponding multiplication you will understand so u12 is over now u13 u13 is equal to that is a13 these are the first set of calculations now l21 u11 is equal to a21 in the respective comparison next uh, this is l21 u12 plus u22 is equal to a22 this is the next calculation from the second row next uh, this one l21 and u13 plus u23 is equal to a23 this is the second row operation now third row operation that is l31 is equal to a31 correct huh? l31 is equal to a31 next l31 here l31 l31 is operated that is uh, okay l31 l31 plus u13 and l32 this one okay uh, sorry uh, u1 l31 into u11 okay i left that term l31 u11 right uh, no no l31 plus l31 into u11 here this should be multiplied by u11 and l32 
that is 0. Here L31 into U11, U11 is equal to A31 and next one L31 U12 plus L32 and U22 is equal to A32. This is the second value of the third row and last one that is L31 U13 plus L32 U23 and uh, plus of U33 is equal to A33. This is the last calculation. So after doing all these calculations, all these calculations after uh, obtaining all these three calculations, you will get some numbers and in those numbers, the next step you have to go for L into V. L into V means L is uh, lower triangular, unit lower triangular matrix. So whatever the symbols are there, you have to specify those uh, values. So with this, I would like to stop up to here. I shall continue in my next discussion. Thank you.